Hi, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. I'd like to do another tutorial for you on the Disappearing Nine Patch. Look at this adorable quilt we made using Hunky Dory Charm Packs. We used approximately two charm packs and we used a little bit for the border and a little bit for the outer border and we scalloped the edge. But what I want to show you is how to put this darling little block together. This is the block right here. It has a little tiny corner square, two smaller squares, and the five inch block from the charm pack. This is called the disappearing nine patch, and I want to show you how it works. For the disappearing nine patch, you'll need a set of charms, and this is the hunky dory charms. That's the one we just did the baby quilt out of. And what we're going to do is we're going to take nine of those charms, and we're going to sew them together in a giant nine patch. And so as you can see, this is not at all a matching uh, set but it'll help you to it'll help you to see what I, I mean and it's just you know we're just going to show you this so you sew all these together you're going to sew them together at a quarter of an inch press them open they'll all be together like this and then you're going to iron them and you're going to lay it flat on your counter like this and then you're going to take your ruler and you're going to put it right in the middle right in the middle okay and you're going to cut it cut this, this whole big block like this and then you're going to cut it like this. What it's going to do is it's going to quarter this middle square. Let me show you how we do so that. So here is another, uh, this is another ginormous nine patch. You'll see it has nine charms that we've sewn together and then we've cut it immediately in half. And see what that gives you? It gives you this darling little squares that looks like you've done a lot of work but you haven't really done a lot of work. And so that's what makes a quilt fun because it's a, it gives you a, um, a big wow without the, uh, without the work. So here's what we're going to do now. When you put this together, there's several different ways you can do it. You can line it up really linear and make them look like they're sashed. But my favorite way is to line up the seams so that no seams come together. So whenever you put a, you know, the blocks next to each other, you just want to make sure that there's no, uh, no seams coming together. You don't have to match anything. And so you end up with this darling quilt that's, you know, the blocks are all over. I've seen this done several ways. One of the ladies did it in a, um, we're using Kansas Troubles, and she, her middle square was a black square. And what you have to remember is that all your outside corners, again, if you look, your outside corners is where you want your largest prints to be, your favorite prints, should be in the outside edges. Those are the ones that are not going to get cut at all. And the middle one, oops, here we go. The middle one you want to have be the ones that you want quartered. And so on this... On this hunky dory quilt right here, I actually took some yardage and cut out five inch squares. And for my center block right here, the one that was going to get quartered, I did those in this aqua blue color. And then, um, so all my center squares are the same when they're put together. And see how I lined them up with no seams matching? Makes really easy, quick baby quilt that's adorable. And then I took the, the aqua and brought that out into the border as well. So I hope you enjoy this fun tutorial on the disappearing nine patch from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. Mm -hmm.